Wait, real quick. Let's admire this pretty, pretty bridge. A little babbling creek, so tranquil. We're really giving off a vibe like we've never been in nature before. So Ty and I have lived in LA for over 10 years and we're a little tired of it. So we're thinking like, where would we want to move? We still would really like the hustle and bustle, but maybe somewhere a little smaller, maybe somewhere a little cheaper. Mm -hmm. So we're visiting cities all across the country to see what might be a good fit for us. Ty can't actually come on this trip because he's teaching, but Becky's gonna come with me. And this time we're going to Thermont, Maryland. I'm sure I'm butchering this name, but right now we're at Bollinger's or Bollinger's restaurant. Correction, it is actually Bollinger's. Why did you do that? I don't know, I wanted you to see that you had a lot of options, and then I just kind of went with it. And I don't know. The barbecue sauce at this restaurant is uh, made by one of the cooks in the back and is apparently amazing. We're in Cockton Mountain Park walking to Cunningham Falls. I love how it looks here. There's a lovely breeze, I'm sure you can hear it. Sorry. Love how much space there is. I love that the yards are huge, that the houses are really cute. We're at the Lloyd's Station Covered Bridge and I'm geeking out. It's so beautiful. I love covered bridges. There's not very many covered bridges left in the US. I see them a lot in places that are cold because it keeps the snow off the bridge and it right. keeps the wood from rotting. Right. But since a lot of bridges aren't actually made from wood anymore, you don't really need covered bridges. Right. What's your unique sound? Now we're going to go to one of the winery and vineyards and check that out. So this is the Catoctin Breeze Vineyard and Winery. As you can see, it is ridiculously cute. You would not see this in California. Like there's so much green. I can see all of us and our friends all hanging out here. Yeah, it has a beautiful fall vibe. It's so quiet, but not in like a creepy way because you can hear nature, mm -hmm. but it's just very peaceful. Ton of fresh produce like orchards. I love shopping local. So we had to stop because nature Caitlin thinks that she found a berry. What are you doing? What is this? Okay. Caitlin's a special kind of friend. <laughs> I have a bunch of stats here. Caitlin comes prepared. I feel like one of the things I'm most excited about is the housing prices. So Zillow's home value index for Thermont is 329,000 roughly, mm -hmm. and LA is way higher than that. It's over 800,000. This is also the gateway to the mountains. Even though it is like surrounded by all these parks and nature, it's only roughly maybe not even two hours to DC. Also near Baltimore Washington Airport, there's a dead box. Oh yeah, I saw that before. <laughs> oh yeah. my God. One thing I did read online from some people on Reddit though, is that there may not be that many restaurants. Bollinger's was awesome. Yeah. I really liked Bollinger's. Agreed. But they were sort of saying that that's like the best and that mm -hmm. there might not be a ton of other options. I'm still not 100% sure of the walkability, but it does seem like maybe more of a driving type of town. Yeah. A little more about the weather. When my mom lives in Maryland, has a very hot, humid summer and not a horribly cold winter, but mm -hmm. it does snow. One of the things I always want to is proximity to Costco. Mm, very very important. specific, but it's pretty important to yes. me. There's one roughly 25 minutes away in Frederick. Nice. The fact that you have to drive for more shops. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe it might be a little too small. Time to debrief. Time to debrief. All right, so let's rate Thermont, Maryland for us moving there out of 10. 10 being, yes, we would definitely move there. What would you think based on what you just saw? Definitely had some of the stuff that I'm looking for. It looks like it had lots of nature. I mean, it seems more like five. Four. I feel like you're not super into rural. Okay, I mean, I might go a little higher than what you're saying, maybe a six out of 10, which let's say our score then averages out to five out of 10. Okay. But yeah. I think for visiting, it's really, really cute. So I mean, for visiting and just like in general, I would give it maybe a seven or an eight. So tell us, where should we try next? Where should I move? Tell us in the comments below and we'll check it out. New Jersey! Becky wants New Jersey, <laughs> so you never know.